planning purposes, it's, it's excellent to have a centralized location. Okay. Um, tell us about continuing through the reclassification process. Although it is a long process, is it, it is almost over, and your team already knows it as a member of the OBC. Yeah, I, we're excited you know, to have a conference affiliation. Um, geographically, it's fantastic for us in terms of travel. Um, we feel like we can go in and be familiar with our opponents. We've played a lot of the teams in the Ohio Valley. Um, when we start in the in conference play next year, Jacksonville State will be the only team we haven't played. So having some familiarity will be will be nice. Um, our players are excited to be in a conference schedule and have a chance to play for a conference championship come next year. And we'll play more games again this year against conference opponents. So I think you know next year the familiarity and you know stepping in and being in the conference schedule. It's we're excited that it's finally over in here. Um, how has recruiting improved, changed, now that you are uh, closer to being postseason eligible? You know, um, we've just gone after kids that we feel like can help our program as people, as students, and as players, and just identified them early. We've worked hard to get them, and I think so far um, recruiting for us, because of the way we've, you know, planned for it, has been, we've been successful with it, and I don't think that the way we recruit is going to change based on where we are in the in the transition process. Obviously, you know, if we continue to build up our win-loss um, ratio, that, that will help tremendously in recruiting. So our goal is just to get better players every year and build off that. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about your upcoming season. Uh, we have a very challenging schedule once again. Uh, I'm excited because we're going to play 12 Ohio Valley games, which is you know double the amount we played last year. Several of them are home and home, which we haven't really had the opportunity to have yet, and I think it's good for our players to experience playing someone a second time, even on the road, because um, it's different playing someone a second time when they have a lot more familiarity with you and they have a chance to prepare for you. So I think that's something that would be good for us going into the conference schedule the following year. But we just we know that in order for us to get where we want to go, which is to compete for a conference championship, we have to play a tough schedule year in and year out. Uh, what do you like most about your team this year? Their coachability, their work ethic. Um, we have a, I love our freshman class. They've been extremely consistent. Um, you tell them to do something and it's yes and they try to do it. There's, you know, um, they're hungry and they want to win. They'll do whatever we tell them if they think it will help us win. You know, well, they'll do whatever we tell them because they know it'll help us win. Um, our returners gained a ton of experience last year. So we look for them to be our leaders and kind of teach the freshmen the ways of the, of the land. And then hopefully they, the freshmen can come in and fill some holes that we had last year. Uh, what do you think your biggest challenge is for your team this year? Just being consistent. You know, I think um, we lost our proven leader, our most consistent player, kind of the heart of our team, who was Ashley Bay last year. And replacing that's been tough, and I think it's going to have to be done by committee. So how quickly we can be consistent as a unit will determine how quickly we can be successful. Uh, Raven Berry led the team in scoring as a freshman. Talk about her and what she means to your squad. You know, she's our – I want to say our most consistent vocal leader in practice. She's one of our hardest workers in practice, and it's nice to have someone who leads your team statistically be one of your hardest workers because everybody else follows suit. So I think Raven's improved. Um, she had limited footwork coming in to us as a freshman. I think that's really improved. We've also really tried to extend her range on her jump shot. So I look for those two things to be better and her to have a better year. Statistically speaking, those numbers may go down because she's not going to surprise anybody. People may key on her more, and then it's just up to everybody else to step up and do their job so they can't just key on Raven. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this season. Thank you.